In this morning's Health Watch, hope for people with hepatitis C. Today is the, fir the world's first hepatitis day, organized to bring attention to a silent but growing epidemic. Medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here again with word of a breakthrough treatment that is saving lives. Good it morning is, again, Chris, Dr. hopefully. More than three million Americans are infected with hepatitis C, a blood-borne virus that's linked to 12,000 deaths each year. We met one patient who might have become a statistic if not for a powerful new drug therapy. I was looking at cirrhosis, uh, liver transplant, or, or maybe even dying from it. It wasn't until 1992, after decades of slightly elevated liver enzymes and increasing exhaustion, that doctor finally gave Eric Nykrug the diagnosis, hepatitis C. He said, well, I, I wouldn't buy any 30-year bonds if I were you. So, that, I mean, I was devastated by that. The hepatitis C virus had been infecting and destroying his liver cells, going from smooth and healthy to scarred and stiff. Six courses of treatment didn't knock out the virus. The number of deaths from hepatitis C is, a, is expected to increase from 10 to 12,000 a year to about four times that, or 40 to 50,000 a year between 2010 and 2020, unless we do something about it. Now something is being done. In May, the FDA approved a new class of drugs known as protease inhibitors. Adding the new drugs Victrelis and Encevic to the previous standard therapy almost doubles the cure rate to 79%. This is a big deal. This is the beginning of the end for hepatitis C. To prevent the virus from spreading, protease inhibitors attack the enzymes that the virus needs to make copies of itself. Determined to beat the disease, Nykrug found Dr. Dietrich and volunteered okay. to test the new drug cocktail. Now... So this is good news all around. This experimental sound wave scanner shows his liver has healed. You're definitely better. Two weeks after the trial ended, Nykrug had no detectable virus. Here I am now, three years later, and I'm still undetectable. I'm cured, I'm having fun, I'm hiking, I'm sailing, I'm just enjoying being retired. <laughs> Pretty incredible story right there. Yeah. How do you contract hepatitis C? Well, Chris, most people like Eric don't know how they got it, and a lot of people don't know that they actually have it in the first place. This is a blood-borne virus, so you can get it by a blood transfusion, needle sticks, sharing needles, even unsanitary tattoo or piercing parlors yeah. can transmit the virus. And it's important to note, before 1992, the blood supply was not screened for hepatitis C. So if you've gotten a blood transfusion before 1992, you may be at risk. Who should be screened for it? Well, the CDC is recommending people born between 1946 and 1966 get checked. Simple blood tests. Ask your doctor. All right. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, good to see you again you this bet. morning.